All right, today we are going to talk about how to really create more trust in sales, more specifically at a subconscious level. Obviously, if you wanna make a sale, you wanna make, make a close, there has to be trust involved, but we're gonna talk about what are some of the factors going on behind the scenes at the subconscious level of the brain that really have prospects trusting in you at a deep level, which then makes them agreeable and makes them want to, to work with you, make the clothes, whatever it, it is. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So we're gonna talk about setting the right frame for the conversation and how important it is that in the first minute of the conversation is very imperative to a successful sales call. The second thing we're gonna talk about is asking the right questions throughout discovery, throughout the sales process, and the quality of your questions will determine how trustworthy you really are. So those, those are the two things that we're gonna talk about. So let's talk about the first 60 seconds in a sales conversation. And it's all about setting the right frame. Setting the right frame for the call, for you, for them, really giving them a solid foundational understanding of this is why we're on the call and giving your honest intentions. Now, the most important thing first is with your tonality, how you speak, you need to be confident in what you are doing. You need to be confident in the offer that you're serving. And that may sound pretty simple, but you would be surprised on how many sales guys really screw this up because at a deep level, they're either not confident in themselves or they're not confident in their offer and their product. I've seen this over and over and over again. That is the first thing that's most important. You need to really take a hard look at yourself in the mirror and ask, do you truly feel confident in your ability to help them? Do you feel confident that your offer will satisfy what they need? Because I can tell you from experience in my time with sales, if there was a time where I was pitching an offer or something and at a deep level, I wasn't confident if it was going to help them, it came out in my tonality. I would stammer a little bit, bounce around a few words, and subconsciously people can pick up on that. So that's the first thing First things first there is you need to be confident. And that confidence will come out in how you speak, your tonality, how you carry yourself, the pitch of your voice, everything. It matters. It totally matters. Now, again, back to the first 60 seconds of this call. What I do when I hop on a call is I number one say, hey, I want to be respectful of your time. Are you ready to dive in? I skip all the small talk. I don't talk about the weather. I don't talk about sports. Nothing like that. What happens is you try to make all this small talk like that. All of a sudden, you're coming across that you're there on the phone to be their buddy. If you're making an offer to change their lives, to solve their problems, they are not looking to their buddies to do that. They're looking for someone who knows what the fuck they're actually doing to give them the help that they need. So think of it that way too. Tell them you're on this call to help them, to add value to them. That's why you're here. So I tell them, hey, my intention for this call is to give you value and to under really understand what is your problem? What are you really struggling with? What's holding you back? Let's talk about it. Let's dive in. And if I can help you here, I'm happy to walk you through what that looks like. Let me walk you through it. But in order for me to help you, I need you to share with me what's going on. Because typically when a prospect gets on a phone, their goal is to get as much information as possible from you, the guy on the phone. And your goal as a guy in sales is to get as much information from the prospect on the phone. So you have two people and they are both trying to just get more information from each other. So there's a little bit of friction here. So you setting that frame to say, hey, I'm here to give help to you. If I can do that, I need to learn more about you, what's really holding you back, so I can give you context, so I can give you value. Is that cool with you? Get their buy-in. All right, cool. Now that already is setting up a lot of trust. You're setting the intention, you're being transparent. 
you're being transparent there and that's what something that people really respect is just being brutally honest and transparent that's why so many guys vibe with brody because he's completely transparent he's honest in what he says and what he does he doesn't beat around the bush let's talk about helping you and where you need to go simple as that so having that frame of just this true intention will help to start building trust in that first 60 seconds so let's talk about asking true authentic questions okay even if you have a successful first 60 seconds of setting this frame you could still screw up the call by not asking very good questions and also the tonality with it so you really and this sometimes comes to practice too is understanding how to really ask these guys quality questions you want them thinking so rather than you telling them what you know they can learn by the questions that you're asking them and that's what makes the difference. The questions that you're asking them really gets them thinking and also helps them understand here is what your thought process is as a guy who's trying to help them. This is the way that you're thinking. That really opens the door for more conversation and for them to be more honest and open with you by asking the right questions. So how do you know what the right questions are? Sometimes this is going to be trial and error. Even if you hire a sales coach to sit there with you, every step of the way in the sales call, you're still gonna have to go out, you're gonna have to feel it. You're gonna have to feel their reactions to the questions that you're asking, and they get feedback after. So if you're really trying to excel in your ability to, to sell, especially on the phone, I do recommend getting someone, getting a good sales coach who knows more about your offer and is good at selling so they can give you feedback on, was this a quality question? Because I can't write you a book right now and say, hey, here are the quality questions you need to ask because it's going to vary person by person. But there's still fundamental questions like, hey, tell me what's going on. What's really, honestly, what's holding you back? What does that look like for you? Can you paint a picture for me? Can you help me understand? There's some fundamental questions there that you can ask. Part of this is going to come with time. Understanding quality questions. But if you set the intention before a sales call to say, I want to focus on asking quality questions, if you do that, you are going to find opportunities to ask more quality questions. Trust me on this one. You just have to set that intention and start thinking like that. Now, here is a big one. Having the right tonality in questions. When I'm in discovery and I'm meeting someone, sometimes I think of myself like an interviewer on a prime time interview with a celebrity where it is a one-on-one -on -one interview. You got the lights, you got the microphones, everything's there, and it's just getting to know them. So when I'm looking at the way that I speak, when I'm thinking about my tonality, I'm really asking them in a way to say, notice this. Say, hey, you know, honestly, has this problem really been holding you back? So a lot of times my vocal inflection will go up because this is showing intrigue and interest, where I'm not saying, hey, is this holding you back? I'm saying, hey, honestly, is this holding you back? So because there's an upward, an upward infliction there, it's just showing curiosity. It's me being genuinely curious and learning more about my prospects, the people that I can serve and help. Doing that is gonna offer them, make them more comfortable to share more information with you. Whether than if you're like, is that a problem for you? Saying it like that with a sharper downward tonality. Is that a problem for you? Is that a problem for you? Is that really a problem? Saying it like that, Number one, makes you kind of sound like an asshole. But secondly, it closes off some of this trust that's gonna make these guys trust you and in sharing information about them. Because part of it can be intimate, can be kind of special. Maybe it's things they not share with other people. So having this right kind of tonality of, hey, you know, is this really a challenge? This is opening the door for them to be more honest with you. Here's the next thing, being completely engaged with them, being focused with them. If your mind is scattered, if you're worried about something outside of work, outside of that sales call, it can show up on your call. If you're not engaged with them, with that prospect, it's happened to me before where I was, let's say I was stressed about something and I didn't do a very good job at eliminating that before I got on the call. And all of a sudden I noticed my mind starts to wander a little bit. I could lose a a critical piece of information that could help me close that deal. So being completely present with them is very important, okay? If you need help to really figure out 
How do I eliminate the stress? How do I become completely focused? Reach out to me on Instagram at brandon.gif. Seriously, I'll, I'll help you there because that is a huge part to building trust.